topic number one. After watching the Ryder Cup, our first topic is asking, why do some sports people compete better as individuals rather than in teams? Tiger, frankly, seems to hate teams. Colin Montgomery, brilliant at the Ryder Cup, but never won a major. Ego, pressure, dynamics, they all change when you're in a team. Should we be able to adapt? Can we adapt? Fred, you played in a sort of the ultimate team sport in some ways, cricket. Although football, you could say, is another... You know, know. Hang on. Did you just say no, the th- ultimate team sport, I th- cricket? I think, I think he was meant to say the ultimate sport. The ultimate, ultimate, sport. ultimate, the ultimate team sport. sport. Sure, the reason cricket. I said that is when Does I walked Does anyone in... care about cricket, really, <laughs> in the country? No, Fred's <laughs> Matthew, can you, just, can you just edit out? Did he, did he just say that? The ultimate team sport. So it. It. Yeah, because the world. Seriously. The world really Seriously. cares. Does anybody about care? About Leicester, Birmingham, <laughs> does anybody, Wrexham, does anybody Brighton, care? Hove Albion. What's the club you didn't listen, play for, the apart world, from the good ones? The World Cup was on. England were playing against India in a test match. Nobody knew it was on. <laughs> just that's a, that's just, just, cricket. just 100, 100 <laughs> million people watching why it. Mean, why, why are your veins sticking out your neck? Uh, <laughs> why you've veins. got no idea, well, Robbie Savage. Who cares about yeah, coming out? Uh, children's yeah. programs it'd be better <laughs> than that <laughs> Leave this to the grown ups. Right, well, Leave this to the grown ups. What, what I meant was, it, it's it's yeah. a kind of it's a sport that fuses team and individuality. Because as a as a batsman, you're in there on your own. As yeah. a bowler, you're delivering the ball on your own. But it's within the context of a team. Well, wait, but you have a shot. You're shooting on your own. I'm go- I'm going to contradict myself on cricket. Go contradict. Sound <laughs> 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 like Rob there. <laughs> contradict myself a little bit because in some ways, cricket's brilliant. It's yep. an individual sport. When you when you said you've got a ball in your hand, you're the one bowling. Yep. You're batting, you're the one batting. Yep. So you get that element of individuality. But you've also got the comfort of the team, yeah. which is nice in theory. But only reason a team gets put together is you've got 11, well, a squad, say a squad of 15 people. The one thing they've got in common is they're half decent at cricket. They don't have to be friends. They don't get on. So also, you tolerate a lot of people. Yeah. You know, you, you got mates, don't get me wrong, but you got people I won't cross the street for if I'd seen them in everyday life. Yeah. And then you got people you tolerate. So I, I'd, I'd, I don't know if I'd sooner have been like an individual sportsman, like golf. Say, say if you was a you, golfer. You would prefer yeah. that? I don't, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking off the top of my head. The thing about golf is, one, the boredom of doing it, and that's coming from a cricketer, like walking every day, but you could get your mate carrying the bag you could choose your own coach who you want to work with. You could choose your own fitness and create your own team yeah. of people That's true. that you want around you. Yeah. But in cricket, you're put into a team yes. and then you've got to get on with people. But, you know, psychologically, I always felt playing table tennis that when you're out there, you're exposed. You can't rely... That's nice though, isn't it? Well, I mean, it creates a certain type of pressure. I think someone like Tiger Woods enjoys that. If he wins, he gets all of the glory. If he loses, he has to take all of the flack. Whereas in, in football, you can, in certain circumstances... You can hide, can't you? You can hide, you can rely on others, they can elevate you. And I think the pressure is fundamentally different. Montgomery, unquestioned... I mean, think about Montgomery when he was in the final round of majors. When he was on his own and he was sort of naked... To, as a figure of speech. <laughs> <laughs> as a, a naked Colin Montgomery. Ooh. <laughs> as, a, as a figure this of speech. This is an outfire. <laughs> <laughs> but, Dude, you know, you're but weird, said, Matthew. Said, <laughs> Why would you say such a thing? Why has that come out of your own mouth? Why has it entered your head? I meant, a naked uh, Colin Montgomery. I meant it sort of as a metaphor because he, he had nowhere to hide. It's that point you were making. You can't really conceal your vulnerabilities and your weaknesses when you're on your own. Whereas in a game where you can pass to other players, you can pass sideways. But isn't every sport individual? Can I ask you a question, Rob? Isn't every sport individual? In a game of football, Rob, yeah. have you ever hidden? I've ever hidden? No. No. No, no I've, I've had bad times. Have Don't you had, me wrong. Have you played with people who've hidden? Um, I don't... Um, have I ever played with people who've hidden? You don't show for the ball, what, it's going down? I think or? so, yeah. I think so. I think so. I, I can't who? remember. I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> don't know. But I, yeah, I would say. Yeah. But isn't every sport... I know it's a team game, football, but isn't every game... I don't care who you are. I After the game, if the team's won, yeah. you're happy. Yeah. But if the team's won and you've had a shocker, and you go, you're going to soak, you're going to be horrible to you, you know, take it out on people. So even well, though it's hang, a team hang, game... Hang, hang, hang yeah. on a minute. I, I, I yeah. can't get my head around right. so, okay. so, so, so what you, no, Hang on, hang on. What yeah. you're saying is, yeah. if the team win yeah. and you've not done anything, yeah. 
Right, of, of, of significance. To so say you've not done anything, yeah, you've game. never not done anything. So 3 0. We win, win 3 0. You've I've not a, scored and you've got a 5 out of 10. 4 out of 10. I'll, be, I'll go home and I'll soak you. Yeah. I won't be happy. Would you? I'll be devastated. Because, really? yeah, because as much as it's a team game and you want to win, but your performances and your in, individuality in that team, if you keep doing two or three of those games and the team win, you won't be in the team. Oh yeah, I think I think. It's a Do you bit know what I mean? Th- but think about the Do difference. You know what I mean? That's an insecurity, that. But it's a fact, though. So it's a it fact. It isn't a fact. So okay, so Manchester United win two nil, two nil, two nil. Um, Scott McTominay goes into the side and has three shocking games, or Anthony Martial goes inside and has three shocking games. Even though the team wins, they won't play. In the, in the fourth. But game. even if they're winning. I don't think so. You can change like, the winning right. side. I, can't I, you? I, I had some. I had something like this in the West Indies. I think it was what two thousand and three. It was a first, me, Simon Jones, Matthew Hoggard, and Steve Armisen came together as a foursome. And I read something on Twitter today, probably England's best foursome as the ball was. And I think we were. And we came yeah, together yeah. and we was playing in the West Indies. And I was bowling. I was trying my nuts off, right? I wasn't bowling badly. I was bowling quite well. Couldn't get a wicket for love no money. <laughs> And it got to about the third test match. Simon Jones has got five in one. Oggy's bowled him out in another. Steve Armisen's got seven for 12. And I was thinking, what's what's wrong with me here? Why am I not getting wickets? 40 pints and I've been Head lulls. Coming out number 10, Armand. What, what, where, where do we to go with this? <laughs> Point taken. No, so so I, I was chatting to the bowling coach and it was the first time I had experienced this. And I was starting to feel a little bit a little bit down about yeah. it, even though the team are winning. And I said to Troy Cooley, who was having a chat, who was the bowling coach at the time, was it? I said, mate, I don't, I, I don't get it. Why, why am I not getting wickets? And he turned around and says, well, you're bowling as a foursome. Mm-hmm. He said, I get that. you are playing your part. Yeah. You're bowling well at your end. You're holding your end up. Maybe what you're doing, the second more risk at the other end. Maybe the tech... And yeah. it's not about... It wasn't about me taking wickets. Ultimately... It was about a team winning and us as a foursome bowling them out. Turns around in the fifth test, I bowled them out. Mm. So it was my turn that came around. But I wasn't upset about it. And I didn't feel, I just felt a little bit disillusioned. I was starting to question, why is it that these things aren't happening to me as opposed to, oh, Army's getting all these wickets. I was so happy for him. But don't you think that happens in football as well, Rob, that you can have a player who doesn't necessarily make the highlights real but who nevertheless has made a contribution, yeah, a contribution yeah. that is much more subtle, that people don't he, necessarily him, celebrate. Him, like, like, like him subtle. Like... He turned up in a white Lamborghini <laughs> with his hair like that. He's not subtle. <laughs> this is at Brighton. Yeah, but, but isn't... Oh, it's a team game then. So cricket's a team game, yeah. but when you're out there in the middle on your own, it's your individual. Yeah. Football, yeah, it's, it's a team game. Of course it is, but at times it's... If I didn't play well and the team won, I'd be dead. Can, can, can you? I'd, I'd be can, gutted. But can you? Can you quantify not playing well? Right? So not playing well. So yeah. Okay. So I can't yeah. imagine you so give the ball well. away at every opportunity. You've missed every pass. Can, can you? No, we can joke yeah. about that. Yeah. But I'm so, not saying. So for instance, we we play at home. You win two nil against. It's a it's a bottom of the table clash, and you you win the game, and you don't touch the ball hardly. You give it away. You get subbed off. Hmm. You get subbed off. So you win the game. Okay, it's nil nil. It's nil nil. I remember um, Steve Bruce. This is a good. I not told the story. So nil nil. What today Sun- or <laughs> <laughs> Sunderland. <laughs> Sunderland? Sunderland away. Sunderland away playing for Birmingham. I I, th- I was the, one of the best players. No nope. fact. Nil nil. I was having the game. I was having a great game. Come off. Nil nil. Ball goes up number eight, and I thought the Sunderland player must be going off. And I thought number eight, mate. Steve the Steve Bruce off. So I get in, throw me um, boots down. I said, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's a ridiculous decision. Hmm. I was raging. Anyway, Clinton Morrison, I think, come on. We won the game 1-0. I think Clinton scored. So after the game in the dressing room, I'm soaking. I'm soaking. I was raging, not happy. And Bruce, he pulled me and he said, you know, I had a go at me for all the lads. And I said, he said, yo, you've had a bad game. I went, I went 1-50, in 50, yeah, and you ticked me off. And hmm. I said, I was playing well. Anyway... Cut long story short, after the game, I was awarded man of the match from the Sunderland fans. So I had to go upstairs at the stadium and like, get the bottle of champagne for man of the match and I put it on his seat on the Why? bus, on the team bus. And I went, and he got on the bus and the bottle of champagne was asked, that was mine. So <laughs> I, I was new, I was fuming, raging, gutted, because I, I, 
and the team won, but I was raging. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, 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 yeah. sorry, go on, go. On. So, yeah. so right. as much as the team won, yeah, because he took yeah. me off and I was happy. I was raging. I was gutted. I can sort well, of what, so, so, but right, say, say you you've got these kids on a Sunday morning. Yeah. Right. If you if a kid in the dressing room was sulking after a win, what would you say to him? I would say in your why managerial you, career. Why are you sulking? So what's Steve, Steve Bruce meant to do? What? What's Steve Bruce going to do? What's he meant to do? Yeah, but I, but I wouldn't have took the kid off if he was playing well. Yeah, but that's why he's a manager and you're not. <laughs> but but I was I got man of the match and he took me off. Yeah, but it was the right decision in the end. They won what you won well, one we, nil. We probably, you got man of the match. But we probably would have won with me on the pitch. I understand you sulking as you come off. I understand that and you're just you're yeah. upset and I've seen it. You don't want to look at Steve Bruce, you don't know, high five yeah. him or cuddle him on the way off in his shell suit. <laughs> I won't go near him in his shell suit. But then when it comes to it, end of the game, sure, you're in the dressing room, they've won. The you know won, you you know no, in, I was no, going, you know in your head that you played so well. You contributed yeah. to this victory. I was raging. It's the same with Derby. Nigel Clough took me off. Nil nil. Forrest. You were singing his praises last week. Great, great, great fella. Great fella. Save your life. Great fella. Yeah. Great fella. Save nil. your life one week. You're slagging him off this week. <laughs> I'm slagging him off. Nil nil. Nottingham Forest at home. I nil nil. You were fickle. 52 minutes <laughs> at Pride Park. Brought me off. So I've, oh. again, throw me boots off. They hated coming off. Did and you ever finish your game, Rob? <laughs> 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 Did you want to miss the traffic every week or something? Well, why is it first in showers? <laughs> Did you have a Veruca? <laughs> what? What's going on? No. You know, I get used to it being taken off every week. <laughs> so, so, takes me off, nil nil. Anyway, the position I would have been in when Robert Earnshaw scored the winner, one nil, I'd have been there. I'd have been there. So we lost the game. <clears throat> Again, I was raging because. I was raging because, hey, I didn't like coming off, of course, but mm. what I'm trying to say is, as much as it's a team sport and you win and lose together... But were you capable... You win and lose together, right? But I don't care who you are, and you've said different, but as me, as an individual, if the team won and I had a bad game, I would be absolutely raging. And you could ask my missus, I would is be... It, is it... Do you, know, do you know when you get subbed off? Terrific. Because I, I can only relate it to getting out when you've got no runs. Yeah. And you walk yeah. off, you're yeah. angry, you get out, yeah. and then you have that walk off, <laughs> yeah. and you're walking off on your own, yeah. and it's horrible. Because you've got out, you've met, you very rare did you get a good ball, actually, hardly ever, you couldn't do anything about it. It's always your fault. Yeah. And you're walking off, and it's horrible. It's so what, walking but, off, and all, but when all you, fans are shouting, especially, yeah. I'm not having a go here, yeah. but you. But when you, when you, when you, even you don't think you should never come off. So when your number goes up and you're thinking, I'm doing right here, and your number comes off, and then you see players shaking their head, walking off, I understand it completely because you're thinking, what on earth is my manager thinking of here? <laughs> That's what you're thinking to yourself. But were you capable... Fred, in your career, can you remember the time when you played the worst you ever played, but the team won? The juxtaposition of those two things. Did it ever happen that the team won, but you knew your individual performance was an absolute catastrophe? And what was your mood at that point? Because I can kind of relate to Rob. He's, he's an individual in a team. Yeah. He wants to perform the best for himself. He wants the team to win. But for you, it was your individual t performance that took emotional precedence in a, in a way, right? Yeah. The, the How are you in that circumstance? Never happened. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the only time... You must have had a no, shocker. The, the, the only time it happened was when I played my first two test matches. We won the two test matches and I did absolutely nothing, oh. right? And I was always bad at debuts and I was in the dressing room afterwards. And I remember it was at Edinley. We'd beaten South Africa in a series. God knows how we beat them. 2-1, we've come back. Goffey's been brilliant. A few of the lads have done really well. I was 20 and fat and sat in the corner. And I played no part. I got two ducks. One of them wasn't out. It was, it bad was, it was a stinker. Was that the one that was worse than the one that you got out on last week? Was that you no, said? No, there's... no, there's one worse than oh, that. Right, okay. Oof, <laughs> so I'm sat in the dressing room. I never forget. It's me, Gray Mick, and Ian Salisbury. Yeah, leg spinner Salisbury. Yeah, yeah. We've done nothing in the game. The game's finished early. Sky are getting all these interviews off people. They've interviewed eight players. But, but not, not us three. Right. And I knew at this point I've not played a part in this test match. But then it was a different it was it was a different emotion in the fact that I didn't feel a part of that team. Yeah. I was almost on trial anyway. I'd I'd been in that team what for two weeks. I wasn't really integrated into it. It wasn't yeah. my team. Yeah. And my thoughts were, yeah, I'm pleased with one, but this is not a, it's not a t I don't feel a part of the team and yeah. I'm probably not gonna get picked for the next one, which was more my worry than anything else. But then moving on, I'll be honest with you, and 
my career was, I've, I've spoken about it before, very much up and down. Hmm. And it tended, if I performed, we'd win. Yeah. Um, and if I didn't perform, I knew that, you know what, next week I will. No, it, it's uh, fine. It was never, all right then. But I think it's really interesting that you felt happy for the team, even though you hadn't made a contribution, and you felt in a way that I don't deserve to be interviewed because I didn't make it. But I think that's quite interesting. Like, like Paul Scholes was interviewed a few years ago, and he said Van Nistelrooy would be sat in the team bus absolutely furious if he didn't score, even if the I get, team I won. I get that. I get but I, that. You don't think I do that, get it. You don't think you'd want... You want you don't no, but, but, but also as well, it. Sometimes, it. sometimes, right, in the team... Yeah. Say, say Rob Key's playing, right? Rob Key, one of your best friends. Yeah. Steve Armisen, yeah. right? When I when I was settled in the side, I I almost wanted them to perform more than me. Yeah. Because I wanted uh, yeah. Keyes to play in that team. When yeah. he scored 200 at Lords, Rob Key, I was the happiest man in the world. Yeah. I batted with him at Old Trafford. We chased down <clears> these <throat> runs and he should have got 100, but I finished the game because he wanted me to and I feel bad about it now. But I was desperate for him to score runs. When, uh, Harm, when Harmy bowled the West Indies out 7 for 12, I tell you what, you happy for that it. was better than me doing yeah. it. I'm completely different. Simon I... Jones, Matthew Oggard, because once I got my head around the fact that we're born as a foursome, yeah. um, I was just as happy. So, Ashley Giles, I felt for, because yeah. they all. I think I've mentioned this before, they all called him a wheelie bin in press and this, that and the other. Yeah. And for him... He must have had such strength of character to keep going, doing the hard yards, the, the stuff that doesn't get the rewards. So the likes of me, Harm, me, Hoggard. Yeah. And we knew within the side his importance. And looking at, looking at Robbie, right? Looking at Rob. Everything you do, I wouldn't underestimate the presence of having you there. So you go into a dressing room, yeah. and from the outside, everyone's got this opinion of yeah. what you're like. Yeah. You're a bloke who walks into a room and everybody knows that you're there. Yeah. With that carries so much responsibility because if your mood is up, yeah, the, you will lift the dressing yeah. room. If your mood is down, you've got Drag the chance to bring it down. Yeah. So even when you, put in your head, yeah. wasn't playing as well as you could, by just you being there and being yourself, you don't get measured for that on a paper on a Monday That's morning. Right. or a, so true. A, But the team, by I the promise way, you, would have that, loved that. That, that Pep Guardiola has just said he wants to sign Vincent Company for an extension, not necessarily because he's a great player, but because of the influence he has on Phil Foden and some of the other young players. No, I, I think you're that. absolutely right. You can't measure. It's not tangible. No. It's not. It wouldn't go on an Opta stats sheet, but it's nevertheless, in psychological terms, very... But what, about, what about you? What about you? Because like, in ping pong, they play their equivalent of the Ryder Cup, don't they? Like a team thing. Yeah. Yeah. And did you end? Well, you know, it's not that I know much about. I know, I know you did it, but yeah. you, you have well, to elaborate. It, well, it, Europe won the Ryder Cup. Yeah, brilliant. Thomas you, Bjorn, great. Yeah, okay, but yeah, like, it's kind like of Thomas, shared. It's Thomas shared G between. Fan. Yeah, Isn't Thomas, it? Honey, G, Thomas Bjorn, Honey G fan. Yeah, is he? Yeah, massive. Remember Honey G, Rob Key. No, he oh, looks oh, like Rob. Oh, come on, no, come on, Matthew. Um, so Hon Thomas Bjorn likes Honey G. Okay, gotcha. But don't you? But can you see? Can you see that the 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 sort of the the contrast, the contrast between the fact that Tiger Woods wins an individual golf competition and he gets all the kudos, yeah. whereas Europe have won, and it's kind of distributed between the different members of the team. And I'm thinking to myself, probably I would prefer to compete as an individual rather than a team. I'm getting the impression from Fred. You're an individual, but you enjoyed the team dynamic if you were surrounded by I, people I you respected and, I, and admired. I, I enjoyed it. I didn't like it. Okay. Bit, bit of both. Right. Rob, what? do you think you're more of an individualist? Because you do contribute a lot to no, this team, no, the podcast no, team. I'll tell you what, is you, Nick. No, I'm a, I'm a huge team player, always have been. But in terms of... <laughs> so we not play so we not play the previous 15 no, minutes? Then? No, but in terms of... of, of <laughs> As a footballer, my life as a, I'm a, in my life, I'm a team player. Yeah, I get yeah. That. But when I was on the on the football pitch, then it was I didn't care who it was, my brother, whoever it was. If I was in the same team, I would I would want them to not play well, to be injured so I could have my chance. 